Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are fixing a latch on a trailer. This one happens to be a carry-on, I believe is the make of it. But a lot of the, the utility trailers and stuff have the same type of latch where it would have the spring with the uh, pin through it. You pull back the pin, latches here, and that allows the gate to go down. When you pull the gate up, you take it off that latch, it slides through and goes into the uh, hole here on the gate. What happens with these is uh, from the friction of them bouncing back and forth, things like that, they get weak and they crack where that pin is. And then when they crack, they're no longer any good. It doesn't reach the gate. Um, there is a kit to fix these, but you can actually fix it pretty much for free if you have some parts and bolts and stuff laying around. And I'll show you how. So for my particular one, a five inch bolt will do it. Uh, I fixed the other side like this two or three years ago and hadn't any, had any issues with it since. The bolt seemed to hold up a little bit longer. Um, cut your bolt in and then you just take a scribe or a pencil, mark where you need to drill a hole. Your hole you're going to drill is going to be for whichever size uh, tension pin you're using. Uh, roll pin, I believe some people call them also. Um, you can drill this by hand, but if you have a drill press, it's a whole lot easier. But the last one I did, I drilled by hand. Um, we'll drill the hole and knock this through. Alright, so doing it this way is assuming that you still have the spring, which most of the time when this thing breaks, the spring keeps enough tension uh, in the pocket that it keeps the uh, the pin here wedged and just the piece on the end here holding the drop gate is the only piece that falls off and you lose. This piece stays in the in the pocket with the pin wedged up against the rail. So if you don't have your pin, um, I mean if you don't have your spring, this probably isn't going to work for you unless you just happen to have a spring like that laying around. At that point you would have to buy the repair kit that they make which is the easier way to do it but this is the cheap way to do it. Slide your spring down in the pocket and slide your bolt in. Once you do that the easiest way I found to do it is to hold the spring back with some vice grips and then you can just knock your pin in right there. Knock your pin in, take your vice grips off. If this video is helping you at all, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more trailer updates along with all of my other uh, entrepreneurship um, videos. And I'll put the link uh, to Amazon for the actual repair kit if you decide to go that route. If you don't have the, the tools or the pieces laying around to do it, it's easier just to buy a kit and I'll put that link in the description below. Thanks for watching.